So I know it's everybody's kind of biggest dream to be able to just all of a sudden be able to make a lot of money very quickly and being able to just get this money all of a sudden and then just get this business that's able to make a million dollars a year and everybody wants to make a million dollars a year and that's kind of just like everybody's goal. And here's the thing, I've seen, like I, I had someone tell me this as I was starting to make a lot of money very quickly and I didn't really believe them and then it actually became true uh, based off what they were saying and the advice that they were giving, it ended up actually happening. And the advice that they gave me was that whenever you have some sort of income source that just all of a sudden makes a lot of money very quickly, it's very easy for that income source to probably go away or start to fade off rather quickly, about as fast as it started to come. And the thing is, is so many people want to be able to make money very quickly, but if you have no idea how to handle that momentum and be able to uh, try to keep it growing and keep it either uh, being able to hit a, a peak or on top of that, just be able to keep it consistent, then there really is no point for you making a lot of money very quickly. In fact, it'll probably do worse for you making money quickly than taking forever to be able to make a lot of money. Because if you just all of a sudden just see this slight, this huge increase that's making you tens of thousands of dollars every single month and then all of a sudden it just fades away, it's gonna put you into an emotional state that you probably don't wanna be in um, because you can see the numbers, you can see it all happening and it's like all out of your control. So you just keep trying to fight it. You keep trying to um, reinvest. You keep trying to keep putting in your time and keep putting in that same amount of energy to be able to keep it at the same place that it's at. But Little do you know things are changing and there's really nothing that you can do about it uh, unless you've kind of been there and you're ever growing and you're changing before you ever reach that point. And so it's very easy to make a lot of money and have it soon just go away very quickly or at least that income source. So why am I talking about this? It's because I know a lot of you want to be able to make a lot of money very quickly. Well, here's the thing. I don't think that should be your goal. I don't think you should be very focused on making as much money very quickly. And I know I sound like a Debbie Downer. I know I seem like sound like someone that's trying to kind of bring you down and make it seem like it's not possible or being super negative or any of those words that with that same kind of negative connotation. Here's the thing. I want you to succeed. I want you to be able to uh, make a lot of money and be able to keep on making a lot of money so that way you can just create things like generational wealth where you have money in your family name for a long period of time. I want you to be able to get to that point. But I also want you to be ready for when all of this does come because there will be a point. There will be a time if you just keep putting in the work and you keep putting in the time and you keep taking action and you keep showing up every day and you keep this amazing amount of persistence, eventually you're going to reach this point where you start making a lot more money. Now, it's what you do once you start making that much money and what I think you should focus on rather than making as much money as possible. I think that you should be focusing on your skills and becoming a better person, a better businessman or businesswoman and developing these skills that is going to kind of elevate your life as a whole. Not that the money is going to elevate your life entirely, but who you are as a person and what you know is being leveled up uh, well in advance before you ever get to this point of having this opportunity to make a lot of money because like I said, it's really gonna get to you. It's gonna be hard sometimes, uh, especially when you do start making a lot of money and it just goes away. So why am I saying this? I know a lot of you trying to get into a business, trying to get into real estate wholesaling, trying to get into some sort of business. You want the success so badly, you feel like you're just so close. And here's the thing, just really enjoy the grind and the hustle of what you're building up. Enjoy building up these new skills. Enjoy learning new things and learn how to help people and focus on that and the money will come. If you just keep trying to build out this legacy of you trying to be this specific person, then the rest will come as it goes. You're gonna learn so much more by just being an observant person than trying to be uh, trying to force money into your bank account because we all know we like you follow people on social media you follow people on like Instagram YouTube all these different sources 
And you can see a, there's like a large majority of people that you can just tell they're trying to get every dollar out of that platform as possible. They're trying to be able to make money off of the, the content that they're putting out there. And you can just tell they're just begging for people to give them money. But then you also see these other people that put in like little effort of trying to sell some sort of product and they kind of have people more gravitating towards uh, forcing that person to create a product and then making money off of people's interest versus forcing people's hand uh, towards being interested into whatever they have. And you notice like the clear, concise difference. This one person is just trying to help people out and providing value, entertainment, content, whatever it may be, and they're being able to make a lot of money and they grow so much faster than those that are just begging for money to show up inside of their bank account. So what you need to do is not be that person that's just like begging for it to happen. It's okay to be hungry. It's okay to be uh, hustling to try to be able to have success, but it's also like it's not okay to be that person that's just like that used car salesman that everybody kind of has inside of their mind of what a used car salesman is that kind of like stereotype and the more that you kind of end up with that sort of personality it's going to be a lot hard, harder you're going to be pushing you're, you're going to be pushing against the wind or you're against the grain it's not going to be as easy or as simple as doing something that like has some sort of alternative uh, solution or s alternative result that someone's trying to get instead of trying to become the person that's just trying to make as much money as possible becoming the person that's just trying to help everybody out trying to uh, make those that are around them uh, up on a higher platform or just trying to bring value and uh, being able to help people out those are the types of people that are able to get success and have everybody wanting them to win, have everybody pushing in their favor for them to have success. And so I don't want you to be extremely hungry and being able to try to get as much success results as possible. Just be completely comfortable with where you are, but be uncomfortable as well. Just keep trying to learn new things and just wait for it to come. I mean, as long as you just keep taking action and you keep being persistent, just focus on the long term. If you're more focused on the long term than the short term, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to attain these long term goals and be able to be incredibly persistent with it. And for those that are like, have this short term mindset of I need to make this much by this day, um, like within 30 days, I need to be able to close this much, I need to be able to be at this certain point, and that's all they're focused on and not, and not the long term. Those are the people that I don't really see have that much success. I get a lot of people sending me messages, hey Devin, uh, I'm gonna be, like I've been doing this and this, and I'm gonna be able to close this much in the next 30 days. And then you follow up with them like 30 days later, hey, how's it going? Oh yeah, I, I, I quit doing that. Uh, I'm not wholesaling anymore. It's just not my thing. It doesn't work inside of my market. Uh, it's just like all these real estate agents aren't telling me it's legal. All my friends and family are telling me it's not legal or <coughs> or there's no deals to be found inside of my area, whatever it may be. Um, it's just like all these different excuses when it like it's they're just like trying they're like begging for excuses for this not to work because they're just so short term minded. And I'm not accusing everybody of being in that position, but it's very easy to get into that mindset. And I'll be honest, I've probably been in that mindset as well in the past. I mean, if I probably were able to look back on myself, I could tell that, hey, uh, yeah, you're probably not gonna get results because you were acting this sort of way. Like this isn't like uh, the best for the long term. This is so such a short term mindset. And what you need to do is have this long term mindset. Be totally comfortable with what's going on in a year from now versus uh, what's going on with a month from now. Obviously, these short-term goals, they matter, but if you derive everything from a short-term goal versus deriving everything from a long-term goal, it's gonna be very apparent with uh, what you put out there. And that's what I got. I mean, I, I don't really have too much more to add to it, but I mean, I guess for personal experience and everything, uh, I've actually had it happen a couple times where I made a lot of money and then it just goes away. Luckily, like the most recent time that it's happened, and I would say like a few weeks ago, uh, I had this income source just completely blow up, shoot through the roof, and then it went away. It like it, I still have the potential to get back there, but if I was in the same mindset that I was like two years ago, 
definitely no way would I ever be able to kind of like fix this situation. But now that I've had this experience and this like being able to talk to the people that I have and go through the experiences that I have and learning everything that I have, I I know like I'm able to develop a plan that's going to be able to not just fix this income source and bring it back, but on top of that, be able to 2x or 3x that income source by just going through the motions and uh, kind of reevaluating everything from everything that I've learned. And so I want you to be in that position rather than having this income source co, um, come and then go away and then have no idea how to bring it back. That I think would be the worst scenario for you. So anyways, that's what I got for you guys. Hope you all enjoyed it. But like always, make sure to like and subscribe down below and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace.